Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and it's 11.11 a.m., and it's Sunday, August 25th, 2024. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the new flavor of the Fanta Sodas. This one um, is in partnership with the new Beetlejuice sequel movie, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. And this one sounds like it's going to be interesting. We shall see. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the new limited edition Haunted Apple Fanta Soda. So, oh, yeah, boys, look at that bottle. So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Very green. Um, so, oh, yeah. They also have this flavor in cans, and they also have a new limited edition um, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice designs for the other flavors and cans. Um, but I'm not for sure about the bottles, though. Because um, I've only seen pictures of the limited edition cans. But yeah, I got this at my local Midway gas station. It was like $2.30, so it was okay priced. But anyway, um, it says Fanta, official Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice movie partner, Haunted Apple. 20 fluid ounces, 1.25 pints, 591 milliliters, 260 calories per bottle. Scan to someone has a QR code, probably takes to their website or something. Spiced apple soda. So, oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's not just green apple or caramel apple. It's spiced apple. So it's probably going to be nostalgic smelling to me. Probably smell like a gift shop or a candle or something on me. Naturally flavored with other natural flavors or cycle me. See you again soon. Has like the black and white stripes design from Beetlejuice. He's looking to the right. Smiling. Which, um, this is like a Mandela effect for me because, um, there actually was a Beetlejuice sequel before. Um, they had it at my local um, movie gallery, um, VHS rental place, where they also had like DVDs and stuff too. Um, but they had Beetlejuice 2, but it was on a VHS. And, um, they used to show it on Dish Network, like right after the first movie, on like some channels when they showed the first movie. But it's called Beetlejuice 2, not Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, but it's 2 in Roman numerals. But um, in the sequel, there's a scene where it's like covered in dust and the cobwebs. There's also a scene where like the girl from the first movie, Lydia, I think her name was, um, she's like frozen or something. It looked like she had like snow all over her or something. It's like weird. But yeah, it's like a Mandela effect for me because um, in my old timeline, the movie already existed, but now they're already making a sequel in this timeline. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that. But um. He's also looking to the right, like on the cover for the Beetlejuice 2 at my movie gallery. Um, he's looking to the right, um, because in the first movie, in the first, like, official, like, cover, he's looking to the left, but in the sequel, he's looking to the right. But, um, in the old Beetlejuice, like, 2 VHS cover, like, he was, like, in, like, it looked like a smoke cloud at the top of the cover, and he's, like, smiling towards the right. And then underneath it said Beetlejuice 2, but then it was, like, Beetlejuice, and right under Beetlejuice had the Roman numerals 2. Uh, so that's interesting. I just wanted to mention that. But yeah, product of the Coca-Cola company. Contains no juice. Nutrition facts are says one ball of calories per serving, 260. Amount per serving total fat, 0 grams, 0 percent. Sorry, 85 milligrams, 4 percent. Carbohydrates, 70 grams, 25 percent. Total sugar, 70 grams. Has a really high amount of sugar in it. Includes 70 grams. Added sugar is 139 percent. Protein, 0 grams. Copyright 2024, the Coca-Cola company. Copyright 2024, Warner Bros. Entertainment. All rights reserved. And it has the best bay date on the side of the bottle, October 24th, 2024. A little bit hard to see, though. And it has it again over there, too. Other ingredients, corn and water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, natural flavor, sodium benzoate to protect taste, salt, yellow, five, blue, one, bottle under the authority of the Coca-Cola Company. By a member of the Coca-Cola Bottler Association, Atlanta, Georgia. Sorry, Atlanta, Georgia, 30327. Scan for info has a smart label QR code, projects the nutrition fact stuff, caffeine free. Call phone number is 1-800-438-2653 for more food information. Enter in place cap, plastic ball has a recycling logo, had recycle.info. And that has some other codes and other recycling stuff in SKU, www.fanta.com. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire bottle, but um, anyway, I'll let you see it right quick. Not a whole lot of stuff on it. Yeah, it's like a dark green soda. Reminds me of like the um, Mountain Dew that I never tried. It was like the Call of Duty Mountain Dew Game Fuel. Um, it's like a dark green colored Mountain Dew. This reminds me of that. The top the bottle has the recycling logo, recycle bottle with cap on. The rest of the stuff, a member of the Coca Cola Bottlers Association, Atlanta, Georgia. Has all that stuff too. Yeah, cool looking label. 
This is actually the second Beetlejuice drink that I had this year, because I had the Lunar Edition, um, which is Brewer Lonnie New, the Beetlejuice design. But now I have this though. Smart label QR code. SKU and stuff. Okay, it has a little bit of a grip too around the side of the bottle, but anyway, it's pretty much the entire bottle. So anyway, now I'm going to show off the bottle up closer quick. So hold on a minute. The new Lone Edition Beetlejuice Beetlejuice Fanta Haunted Apple Soda. Like the black and the white and the green. Looks pretty cool. Cool color combination. Um, but yeah, it's, it says it's Haunted Apple. It's like a dark green color. A little bit of a grip around the bottle. Tops are, has their cycling logo and stuff. I'm a member of the Coca-Cola Bottlers Association. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Shows them looking to the right sideways. It's a QR code project of their website, Spiced Apple Soda. So yeah, it's not green apple or caramel apple, it's spiced apple. This is probably gonna be like um apple and maybe like nutmeg or something. I don't know. But yeah, nutrition facts. 70 grams of sugar. That's a whole lot of sugar in it. You probably don't want to be drinking a lot of it. They didn't have this flavor in zero sugar. Smart label QR code punch. You can see the nutrition facts stuff. It's caffeine free. SKU. Recycle me. See you again soon. And there's the best by date. October 24th of 2024. So it's still fresh for a while. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire bottle. Anyway, now I'm going to finish my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, I shot off the bottle up close and I'm going to shake it up a teeny bit. Open it, taste it, and get my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, starting to bubble up a lot. Inside the lid is like nothing. Love dark greenish white bubbles. Definitely really carbonated. here because my car's air conditioner but on ASMR but yeah anyway the scent whoa 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 well 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 yep definitely has like a spiced apple sort of smell that's for sure but also yeah it does have a little bit of like a caramel apple scent too though it's like a spiced caramel apple um yeah definitely smells like the witch's brew Lonnie new um like how that tastes except this one has way more of a noticeable like caramel scent reminds me of like um um, my local quick trip um for a while now you can get like a limited edition like um caramel apple like flavored milkshake this um reminds me of that a little bit except like a spiced version of that it's like if you got like the um caramel apple shake from quick trip and maybe mix it with like some cinnamon or like um or maybe like a horchata type of drink or something i don't know it definitely has a little bit like a cinnamony smell it's like a cinnamon caramel apple or uh, maybe a little bit of nutmeg too in there on it. Um, but yeah, definitely. I think I smell cinnamon though. That's for sure. Yeah, definitely. Really strong caramel scent. It reminds me of like um. Also, when I got the, like the caramel milkshake from Dairy Queen, because that one's like a really strong like caramel like flavor and scent. Reminds me a little bit of like butterscotch candies too a little bit. Um. Yeah, definitely a very interesting, strong scent. Very sweet, though. Um, but um, anyway, now I'm going to try it. So here goes.
Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah. 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 Well, 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 well. Well, well, well. Whoa. Yeah, definitely tastes like um, like caramel apple, but um, yeah, with a little bit of like um cinnamon and like um nutmeg a little bit. It definitely tastes similar to how it smells. The caramel probably stands out the most. But, um, yeah, then you do get, like, the, um, spiced apple sour taste in there, too, though. Actually, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely an apple, but, um... I actually think I taste, like, the apple maybe the least. Definitely, um, taste the caramel way more than the apple. Probably say, like, um, maybe 80% caramel taste. Maybe, like, um... 15% apple, maybe like 5% in the spice. So yeah, it's a very strong like caramel like taste. Um, it tastes really similar to like also like butterscotch. So if you had like the those yellow butterscotch candies, it tastes really similar to those. Or like um butterscotch pudding. Um, it tastes like that. But yeah, with apple and maybe like cinnamon. Definitely an interesting mix of flavors. Definitely an interesting flavor for a soda, you know. Definitely an interesting, like, yeah, flavor combination. It's, um, yeah, it just says it's spiced apple, but, um, definitely has a really noticeable, like, caramel taste, too, though. So it's definitely, like, caramel apple. So really similar to, like, the Witch's Brew Lani New, but, um, yeah, with more of a spice taste and definitely way more caramel. Way more noticeable caramel taste. Really flavorful, very sweet. Has a lot of sugar in it though, so you probably don't want to be drinking a lot of these, you know, just saying. Um, but yes, okay, price around $2.30 at my local gas station. It's out for a limited time. Probably at least till Halloween. So definitely be on the lookout for it. Definitely get it while you can, I guess. If you like apple drinks, you'll probably like this. Or if you like caramel stuff or butterscotch stuff. Um, this definitely reminds me of those, like, a lot though. Um, it's smooth, even though it's carbonated. It's not too carbonated, so you can probably try it if you want to. Really tasty though, really good. But um, there's something about it though. Um, maybe I, if I, I could taste the car um the apple, maybe a little bit more. I really like apple flavored drinks, but um, yeah, this one is supposed to be mostly apple, but um, yeah, the apple doesn't really stand out too much in this. Um, definitely the caramel part of it like stands out way more, you know. If I can taste the apple a little bit more, probably be even better. But still pretty good though. But um. Probably give the new limited edition Beetlejuice Beetlejuice Haunted Apple Fanta Soda. You know what, boys? You know what? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh, yeah, boys. It's lit. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Oh, yeah. So, really good apple flavored drink. That's mostly a caramel apple flavored drink, but also a little bit spiced. Um, So, yeah, it's definitely pretty good. But, yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Could be a little bit better, but still pretty good. Definitely a unique, interesting soda. Um, definitely um, a unique flavor for a soda. So, yeah. Definitely try it. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And yeah, it has a cool label and stuff too. I like the look of it. Um, but yeah, anyway, so my upcoming reviews, some more videos, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.